Everyone, in today's video, I would like to talk about how I plan and start my new project. So step one, I list all the features that I wanted to build. So for example, when I'm building the blog post, I list all of the features. So for example, we have like the free blog post, the premium blog post. There's a dashboard where the user can create the blog post. So list all everything, and then it will lead to the step two. Step two, I need to identify which feature that is really hard to build or don't know how to do it yet. So for example, in this case, it's going to be the premium blog post that the user need to do subscription, for example, with Stripe. So I need to do some POC or proof of concepts to make sure that this feature is doable. So when I finish my POC and everything is doable, so it's go to the next step is going to design the user flow and see the global overview on how the application is going to work. So for example, user flow, it would be something like this. So the user enter our web website and how they're gonna navigate inside of our application. So they can navigate to read the free blog post. They can navigate into the premium blog post, but what we're gonna do, like the user need to do a uh, login first and then do some subscription and then we can redirect them back to read that blog post. So this is the flow of the user. So then we can see clearly how the application is going to work. So the next step is going to design the table to store those data because we know that some data is going to be protected and some data is going to be available for everyone. So then I try to break it down and try to see from the user flow, okay, this information is going to be available for everyone. And this information right here can be accessed by uh, like, you know, user role or subscription and things like that. So then I can see that so I can design it very easily. Next step that I like to do is try to break down everything into the smaller tasks so that it's easy to do and easy to keep track as well. What I like to break down the task is mostly of the time my task is going to be the front end task because for the back end, I use the back end servers such as Firebase or Superbase. So then I just mainly focus on the front end only. So for the front end, especially for the UI, and I'm not a UI designer. So what I do is I look up inspiration from the website like Triple or something that I encounter when I'm uh, navigate to different website and using something. So for example, when I learn the Next.js course, I read through the course and I see this part right here. It's really interesting. We had a code block and the user can, you know, copy the code and things like that. So I say, hey, when I build a blog post, I will try to, you know, try to do the same inside my blog post as well. So I just pick a little bit from this one, a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and then combine and become my own blog post. All right. So that's how I do it. That's how I plan and start building my new project. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to build this blog post right here. So currently I just finished the UI and I need to connect it with the database and connect to with Stripe as well. All right. So let me know in the comment, what do you think? And don't forget to tell me how do you do it as well. And see you in the next video.